So, Char- Charlie, about how many members do you do you have here? I believe we have around f- fifteen members. Uh huh. And how long have you been doing this? How long have you been growing orchids? I've been growing orchids since the uh, late nineteen seventies. Wow. 70, 77, 78 is when I started. How'd you get into that? I just uh, I've I've I actually started out with carnivorous plants when I was in high school. I was just intrigued by carnivorous plants as a group and how they worked. And I was living in California at the time and I went to a, a garden center and there were a couple of orchids there, little baby orchids that I, I thought, well, they'd be sort of neat and challenging to try. So that's, I got them and, and I've just uh, yeah, grown up from there. Huh. Gone from they they were uh, unbeknownst to me when I got them they were the type of orchid that at the stage that I got them they would have taken five to six years before they were mature enough to bloom so they didn't survive for me but then I I did a little reading up on orchids as a group of plants and I found out that some were easier to grow um, and that fit the environment that I'm able to give them. Um, and that's what I, I went to. I went predominantly to the field mouses, and I've been growing them ever since. How, how hard is it to do if someone wants to just start it and say they're, you know, an average gardener, they're, they're not a super gardener like you? There, a, lot of, a lot of people are amazed of, that orchids are not as near as difficult to raise as house plants as one would think. They do, a lot of them do come from the tropics and because of that people think that you have to totally have an environment similar to what is presented in the tropics, but you really don't. There, there are changes you can do in the home environment that you can grow. You, you have to be a little more selective what you do grow, but um, you know, basically light fertilizing them, uh, watering them, uh, you know, they're, they're you know, three of the basic things. And, and a, lot of, a lot of people will, um, you know, if they're successful with African violets, they can grow, you know, several genera orchids, maybe with a little more, a little more light than what a violet would uh, require. So they're really not that tough. A, a, lot, of, a lot of people are not aware that orchids as a group of plants are the second most common house plant now grown in the United States. Oh. So they're, they're, really, um, they're really not that difficult once you understand the, the culture that they, that they need.